Wait a minute, this isn't a film camera. <laughs> hey guys, Omar here. And today we are going to load the Fujifilm X-Pro3 with film using this very cool site. By the way, the, all this stuff is free. There's a very cool site called Fuji X Weekly, not sponsored by. I just think what the gentleman, Richie Roche, that runs the site is doing with his community is amazing. What they do is they recreate real film stocks and give you all the settings so that you can punch them into your Fujifilm cameras and go out and shoot as close as you can to real film. Now, I thought it was a perfect match with the X-Pro3 because with the screen that doesn't show you what you got going on, and I'm gonna set my uh, optical viewfinder on, I'm not gonna have any images playing, I'm gonna go out and pick couple of films and shoot this camera as a film camera. Now this might be great for those of you that are film purists or you, you like the experience of shooting film. This is what this camera was set up to do. Not chimping, not checking, uh, no playback whatsoever. And that's how we're gonna shoot the camera and Fuji X Weekly's film simulations. Okay, so let's take a look at the Fuji X Weekly app. If we launch it there, you'll see all the film simulations from the blog. And if you have the free version, you have access to them, which is great. You can touch any of them and it gives you the settings that you need here. Now, not all the settings work for all the cameras. So some of them are for the older sensors, some are for the newer sensors. If you have the pay version, uh, first of all, you get access, like early access to some of the film simulations that they're working on. But the better feature or the cooler feature is that you can actually filter out the film simulations that you want. So what you do is you hit the little, I'm just like tapping things randomly here <laughs> without thinking. Oh, right here. If you hit filter, you can actually go by what camera you own. So I can look at all the Fuji film cameras. I can say X Pro 3, which is what I'm using. And then you can just, you know, like you could just hit done and you have just your black and white ones. So I think that's a really cool feature is to, it, you're able to filter out per camera. Especially if you have all the sensors that exist. All right, so let's set up your quick menu. Now I set up the quick menu so it would match the recipes. And that makes it convenient in case you need to switch or change up a recipe. Now it's good to take some sample images to see which film simulations you like before heading out, uh, but also to have a control group. What is your, have a setting that is your setting. So we have an Omar setting, it's simple Provia. Okay, so this is my control group film, the Omar one. And if you notice, it says base C1, that's a custom function one. It's standard Provia film simulation. I uh, just put the shadows up plus one, the color plus one, yada, yada. You could see what's there. Now, if you wanna save a setting, remember all you have to do is hold down the Q menu while the Q menu is open. And then you can actually set your presets. In my custom settings, you see I have my standard film simulation. We called it Omar. And then I actually have a preset for Coda, Coda, Coda what's it called? Kodak Porta 400. Okay, so let's load up a color film together. We're gonna make this our third preset, Agfa Vista 100. So we just go across and we're just gonna change each of these. So classic chrome, DR200. Now clarity and, gr and uh, color chrome effect and color chrome effect blue. You may not see those because you have an older Fujifilm camera, but that's okay. There's film simulations for the older cameras on the app. I'm using this one because I have a, you know, a brand new X-Pro3, which by the way is not mine. Thank you to B&H for letting us borrow the X-Pro3. So for white balance, by the way, I don't like how Fujifilm makes you change the white balance with these newer cameras, but okay, we're going daylight here, 56. And then what you want to do is you want to shift the reds. So we're going to shift the reds minus, which way is minus? <laughs> So the reds are minus four and the blues are minus five. Okay, now that we have everything set, we need to save this film, okay? So what we're gonna do is hold down our Q menu while the Q menu is open, go down to our third custom setting. We're gonna save the custom setting and hit okay. 
and I forgot to rename it. You see right now it just says custom three. You don't need to rename, rename them, but it really is convenient so you can remember what films you have. So I'll name this Agfa Vista Baby. So we named our third film simulation and I'm gonna load up the rest and take uh, some cool pictures of the Hulk and then our camera will be loaded with film. By the way, this is a total aside, but like Fujifilm has a dial direction problem they need to fix. This is so weird. So if you wanna change your film simulation, I am turning my dial to the right. So it's going seven, one, two, three. But to change your settings up, like plus two shadow, you have to, the dial has to go left to go plus. <laughs> I don't understand that. Come on, Bougie film. Right is increase, left is decrease. Another cool thing about the app is you can touch the film simulation and at the bottom you can get a link to the blog and get a readout. And this noir one, by the way, is a little bit of a tribute to us here on our channel. And uh, it's about the Fujifilm noir. <laughs> Now, one thing that would be cool to add maybe in the future is to filter the film stocks. So we have, we can filter here by camera and also by film simulation, but it'd be cool if we can do just Kodak or just Fujifilm, Ilford, that would be neat. Now, one of the reasons to shoot RAW and JPEG is you can actually, after the fact, in camera, change to one of the film simulations from Fuji X Weekly using the camera. You can actually you know, process your RAWs in camera and change some things around. Fuji also has a RAW processor, so you can do it on your computer as well and play around with the different film simulations. Then when you're confident, you know, you can go total noir and you can just shoot JPEG only with your favorite film simulation and make it your style. And uh, I'm sure Richie is very open to, you know, using some of the film simulations. He says this all the time, you know, use them and then tweak them the way you want. Because if you shoot real film, even shooting film, uh, each film can be can have a different look depending on how high the ISO goes, if you push the film. So uh, you can tweak all of these to your liking and that's what it's all about, making your own flavors. All right, we're totally loaded up with film. In the next video, I'll go out and shoot with the camera, the X-Pro uh, 3 as a film camera. I'm not gonna chimp. The only thing I'll do is change my film stock to a couple of different ones, and then we'll come back to the computer and check all those out. Make sure to download the app, but also send 20 bucks, all this hard work that goes into, you know, making our little photo experiences a little bit more fun. Send them 20 bucks for the year, um, just to show your support. All right, so make sure to hit like if you want to see that next video. If not, I'm just going to sit here home alone just like this. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys next time.